Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today I've got an absolute elk camp classic. We've got Remington core locked, the 175 grain pointed soft point in seven millimeter magnum. And here is your absolutely classic green and yellow core lock box for that heavyweight 175 grain seven mag load. We've got all the icons right here, deer, elk, hog, bear, seven mag can definitely do it. Let's go ahead and flip this around, wrong way. Take a look, there's your standard core locked promo info. Feel free to stop, pause, and read that if you would like. Coming on down, here's a little bit more info on core locked, and then we've got our velocity chart. Muzzle velocity is stated at 2,860 feet per second. We'll see how close we get to that. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the stuff. There we go, let's pull this stuff out. Looks pretty good and clean, let's pull one out here. And there is your 175 grain pointed soft point seven mag Remington core lock load. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Tika T3X laminate stainless chambered in seven millimeter Remington Magnum, of course. It's got a 24.3 inch barrel. It did not come threaded. I had that done after the fact. Up top, we've got a Leopold VX Freedom scope. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. This one, we've got seven mag stamped right in to let everybody know the lightning is about to strike. I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings here. Check out my website for these as well. If you're looking for a leather sling that will last a lifetime, you're gonna wanna check these out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my elk design. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that classic 175 grain core locked out of the 7 millimeter Magnum, minimum 2803, maximum 2826 for an average of 2814. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting those 175 grain core locks out of the 7 mag heavy hitters. We got all three bullets right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at penetration. This one right here looks like it did break up a bit and we did get quite a bit of fragmentation up in the first block. We'll look at that in a second. We'll just do penetration real quick. So this one right here, we'll give it 21 and a half inches. This one is, man, the edge is kissing 22 and a half inches. This one went a little bit deeper at about 25 inches right there. So really not too much variance. We got really good expansion with all of them. But like I said, coming back to the first block, there's quite a bit of lead, lead fragmentation in here. There's a whole bunch of little chunks. It is what it is. It's not a bonded bullet or anything like that. Let's look at the wound track. We have expansion kind of starting slowly and it builds up. This is very interesting. And it gets to its widest point about right here at the seven to eight inch mark. And then it keeps on going and we have a bunch of fragmentation from about the eight inch to the 11 inch mark. This block's a little bit dark, it's hard to tell, but there's just tons of little lead fragments in there. One thing's for sure, this would make an absolute mess of whatever you shot with it. And I wanna show you something. Over here, we've got the gel blocks. These ones in the middle are just to weigh the table down. That's all that these are for. These ones over here were for the Federal Fusion Tipped 300 Win Mag. So I just did that right before this seven mag core locked load. And you can see the wound tracks in here, they're shallower, they don't go quite as deep. But then these 175 grain core locks, I mean, they, they start out slower and they build up and then taper off. The wound track itself is, I'd say, quite a bit larger for this core locked load. Just something interesting to note. But it is what it is. Let's go ahead and dig these guys out and take a look at the deadliest mushroom in the woods. All right, y'all, we shot it. Let's talk about it. The absolute Elk Camp Classic, 175 grain pointed soft point core locked in seven mag. 
weight retention, we're getting right into it. 119 grains, 120 grains, 124 grains. So a nice tight little spread there, very consistent for an average of 121 grains retained weight. That is 69% weight retention and about what I've come to expect for core locked bullets out of faster cartridges. They held together the majority of their weight. They shed quite a bit. Seems to be what they do. On to expansion, we saw 0 0.64, 0 0.67, and 0.85 inches for an average of 0 0.72 inches expanded diameter. So a bit of a range there, a little bit more than I like to see. And that works out to 2.5X expansion, which is pretty darn good. But something I will note, take a look at these bullets here in the photo. They're not super evenly expanded. Those expansion numbers are a little bit swayed to the larger because it's just not even all the way around. That bullet on the right is definitely, you know, bigger one way than the other. The one on the left is more uniform, but it's a lot smaller overall. It is what it is. You know, it's a non-bonded bullet. It does have the core lock and this is what they do. I mean, I can't complain too much. I've killed a lot of stuff with core lock bullets. And on to velocity, we saw 2826 for the high, 2804 for the low. For an average of 2815 versus the factory spec of 2860. So we only came in 45 feet per second slow on average versus box spec. That's a lot better than a lot of loads out there. And our estimated velocity at impact down there at 100 yards is about 2618 feet per second. And then penetration wise, this load did pretty darn good. 21 and a half inches, 22 and a half inches and 25 inches for an average of 23 inches of penetration. That's in that 20 plus inch range that I like to see. Honestly, I wish I would have seen him go a bit deeper. This is a heavy bullet for seven mag. I don't think there's any factory loads. There's no factory loads I can think of that come with a heavier bullet. There may be some out there but I kind of wish I would have seen a bit deeper penetration. But with the expansion that we did get, it's not surprising. And it's still plenty for most of your needs. And on to kinetic energy with a 175 grain bullet going on average 2,815 feet per second, we're looking at 3,079 foot pounds at the muzzle and about 2,663 foot pounds down there at 100 yards. And those energy numbers are towards the upper end of what I've seen from seven millimeter Remington Magnum factory loads. This stuff is no slouch in the punch department. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right y'all, time for my final thoughts on this 175 grain pointed soft point core locked out of the seven mag. I've tested quite a few seven millimeter Remington Magnum loads so far. The videos just aren't live yet. They're already queued up and scheduled and everything. You can get early access by becoming a Range Boss channel member. So I have some data to compare this load against. And overall, it compares pretty darn favorably. The one area that I, I wish it would have been a little bit, you know, quote, better is just weight retention, but it's a core lock bullet. It's not totally unexpected. I wish we would have seen more, you know, 75% weight retention as opposed to 69%, but we're really splitting hairs at that point. I've got to find something to nitpick about. And then I guess the expansion, I wish it would have been a bit more uniform and even, but again, we're kind of nitpicking here. I mean, overall, I think metric wise, it hit all the marks that you would want to see for medium to medium large game hunting. And energy wise, this stuff is packing a punch. If you put this stuff in the vitals of something, it's going to do the job. I think for a classic core locked load, it did pretty good. If you've used this load on game, let me and everyone else know how you liked it down in the comments. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.